Good morning. Man, did we get some rain last night. Whoo! It came down probably three, four inches. Could be a little more, but it just kept coming and coming and coming. But I was able to get a good look at what's going on back there. Why I'm having flooding issues. And, and I don't even know if there's anything I can do about four inches of rain. It was just so much at once. But what's happening is the dog's yard is filling up with water uh, right before the dog apartment. And it is flowing down in front of the dog apartment, in front of the screen patio. And it's coming down at such a rate that, you know, the French drains just can't possibly handle it. Um, I should have put in a bigger pipe. But I am uh, not about to dig that up again. I, I'm just going to probably have to face the fact that this is going to happen once a year, maybe twice a year. Uh, it's not as bad as it was. There are some things I can do to keep to make it a little better But it's a screen patio and you know, it gets wet. It ain't gonna hurt nothing But it, man as soon as I brought that carpet back in Here it comes again You know nothing to the degree that I had last year when I had puppies in there when Millie had the puppies But man, it is stressful and Aside from bringing in a dozer and leveling this whole place, which would be almost impossible to do with the house sitting here, you know, just going to have to deal with it. I'm sure they, whoever lived here before had to deal with it. So, you know, it, it was never, the land was never leveled properly when, before the house was built. So it is what it is. There, there's, what I, what I probably need to do now is just think of ways to deflect reroute the water flow and I think there's a few things I can do to do that but man it is sopping sopping wet out there put a video up on this channel of that happening so you probably watch that yeah and you talk about loud get under that carport when it's just monsooning it is something else you can't hardly hear yourself think so yeah I don't think there's a whole lot I can do it's it, it's not yeah i can put guttering up where the screen patio is i do have it on the ground right now uh and it's catching it and i watch that that's that's not the issue it's where it's coming out of the dog yard so i have to stop the flow coming out of the dog yard uh, then i think you know we're good because that whole place is like a bowl over there it slopes this way slopes this way and it has to go somewhere and water takes the path of least resistance yep all right i am in crisis mode right now yep i have to leave here right after this to go to the store and i'm going to show you why one and a half in there there's five dogs. This ain't gonna work, man. You do not run out of milk bones in this house. And they're in there, they're in there expecting them right now, and I have nothing. I have nothing. I'm gonna have to try to pass off some chicken strips as milk bones, and it's not gonna work. So I've got to go to the store and retrieve another box. I'm going to have to. There's no way around it. I also got to try to remember to get some Comet. Yeah, you know, that Kome that you clean the sink with. My new sink, man, you, you got to have it with that thing. I don't know what's with that stainless steel, but it gets brown. I guess you're supposed to wash them once in a while. I don't know. But I got to get, the, there ain't no soap and water getting it off. So I got to get some of that Comé, you know, that French sink cleaner. That's good stuff, man. I've tried that Ajax. It's not as good as Comé. And there was something else I had to get. Well, I can't remember. People were telling me, put it on your phone. I don't carry my phone in the store. It pulls my pants down. If it's in my pocket, it pulls my pants down. You know, I ain't got a butt. 
So, you know, if my, I got to tighten my belt real good, otherwise my pants will fall down. And if I put this in my pocket, there you go. And I can't stand putting it in the shirt pocket. So I leave it in the truck. So that doesn't do any good. And it's a big ordeal in the store. You know, I got to get my reading glasses out. And then it's just as soon as I start finding the list, somebody wants to buy me in their grocery cart. Imagine the nerve of those people. Wanting, wanting to pass me by when I'm trying to find my laundry or my grocery list. Man, I can't remember the other item I needed. I ain't never going to get out of here. Whew. Yeah, I'm wondering how many roads got flooded out last night. Usually on my road, there's one area down the road that can be really bad. You don't want to be out in the rain. Because it can get pretty deep, but other than that, most of it's pretty good. But downtown, in town there, it floods a lot. So, a couple of years ago, a lot of stores got flooded out. They had to replace carpet. And, and it's pretty common here to have that kind of a spring. It's been pretty mild so far, but, to, you know, floods are pretty common. And you got to remember, you're the, the whole area is surrounded by higher terrain the mountains you know they're they're not mount everest mountains but they're they're good size or they wouldn't be called mountains uh, there is a criteria to be named a mountain i think it's over a thousand feet might be wrong we have a lot of them over a thousand feet i don't think the one behind me or in front of me the one in front of me might nah i don't think it's it's probably about 800 feet in front of me because I've had the drone up, and the drone tells me how high it is, and I didn't quite take it all the way to the mountainside, but I took it close. Uh, i got to get that out and see if it's still any good, because I wrecked it last time I had it out. I've come to the conclusion I don't need to be flying drones. It's, I don't know. You stick this thing on the controller. Not only do you got controls on your phone, but they're on the controller. And I totally, it had been a while since I flew it, and I totally forgot what I was doing, what operated what. The thing comes down, and I panic, and I hit stop, and then the, the drone quits, <laughs> and I wrecked it. And, and then I, and it wouldn't shut off. Even after I hit that, it would land, I think what I hit was come home. So it came down, it came down to land, and it wouldn't land. So finally I figured out how to get it on the ground, and, and it would not shut off. So I went to try to pick it up, and it knocked my knuckles real good. And yeah, so if I had any thoughts of buying a better drone or getting a good... No, I'm not doing it now. It's, I'm, I'm no good at it. Can't do it. Leave that for the young YouTubers. I don't need a drone. All right, guys, just a short one today because I put one up last night. Most of y'all probably haven't seen it yet. This one didn't make much sense anyway. But I got to go get milk bones. And those of you that have dogs, you understand. The rest of you probably don't. But that's how it is. Happy trails.